Hello students, this is Neha Sharma. Today in this video, we are going to start a poem which is in your book, First Flight. Before we proceed, I want you to ask something. Everyone possess something and lose it. But why if we lose something, we become upset? It is possible to buy another thing and be happy after losing something. But we cannot do that. We cannot be happy after losing something. We used to remind the loss again and again. So yes, today we are going to read a poem which tells about the loss of innocence and loss of loved ones. Yeah, I'm talking about the theme of the poem, the ball. So the name of the poem which we are going to cover today is the ball poem which is written by John Berryman. So let's know about the poet John Merriman. John Berryman was an American poet and was a famous scholar. He was born on October 25th, 1914. He died on January 7, 1972. He was known as the famous poet of 20th century, the second half of the 20th century. And he was considered a key figure in the confessional school of poetry. His best famous, his the famous work was the dream song. So as I told you, the theme of the poem is loss of innocence and loss of loved one. So let me tell you uh, the concept of the poem that the poet has taken a little boy in the story who has lost his ball. He can buy many balls, but he has a very deep emotional attachment and memories enclosed with that ball buy many balls but he has a very deep emotion emotional attachment and memories associated with that ball the poet is indirectly trying to tell us that how we should learn to cope up with the loss we came to know here that money is external means that is only the show off as we can't get, we can't buy the memories with money. So we all should learn our responsibility and learn to cope up with the loss. As we discussed about the theme that is loss of innocence and loss of loved ones that I will tell you one by one. For the little boy in this poem has a his ball which is very first thing uh, he has ever held as very dear however he has never even considered the possibility that might one day he would lose that ball it is only when he realizes that uh, it was his responsibility to keep the ball safe but he has failed to do so. He also realizes that things will get lost from time to time and money simply cannot replace them all. And when he learn about the loss of loved ones, so they are what he saw. So actually the poem has a surface meaning as well as a deeper meaning where we will read the poem we will see that the ball symbolizes family or friends whom we love. So here in this poem, John Berryman has touched the topic of uh, how to stand up against the miseries and sorrows of life. Let's discuss about the summary, the detailed summary I would say of the poem. The poem as I told you, is about losing something which we love 
and then learning to grow up. It is about a little boy who in his young life for the first time experienced grief after the loss of much beloved possession which is here his ball. Maybe for us the ball of that uh, uh, the loss of the ball is a minor consequence. Our natural reaction may be that still there are many more balls. So we need not to worry about that. But to a little boy this is a uh, something which is very special which is very different. One can get another ball with a very less amount of money. But money is external and immortal here as it cannot buy back the love and hence cannot replace the things that we love. In this poem the boy uh, the boy's wall is easily personifying with his young days and which is uh, which were happy and innocent. People may take balls just as they will take away our innocence and force us to grow up soon and once we lose our innocence then we cannot get it back but despite all of these we have to learn to stand up obviously we need to be strong and get on with our life irrespective to uh, sadness inside. This is the way we will survive. Therefore, we have to learn to accept and let go. So, the poet has made the use of the imagery which is a poetic device while telling how the ball personifies the spirit of the boy's childish innocence. We may visualize how the spirit of the little boy like the ball is sinking into the dark water of the harbor and as it drifts further away the little boy will learn to grow up and that part is linked to that ball which grows up as well until it is no longer a little boy students you may interpret this poem literary and metaphorically both. If literary then it is a soulful picture of the little boys growing up and learning to deal with the loss of the first in his position. If we take it metaphorically then it is the story of the mankind learning to deal with the loss of their loved things or people.